Welcome to the Technician Guide to Retrofit R22 Systems with the new Summit Plus. Let's get started. First, you need to know that Summit Plus is not the same as the alternative refrigerants. Let's take a look at Summit Plus. It is not a blend or hydrocarbon. Summit Plus is a single component refrigerant and it contains additives to adapt it to R22 systems. How cool is that? Let's continue with our procedure to retrofit an R22 system to Summit Plus. For many DX systems that have a fixed orifice to meter the refrigerant, the procedure is a direct application, a simple retrofit without hardware changes. The process is as simple as using R22. Using the technician's guide, we'll use the retrofit data area to record the existing system operating data. To determine its overall health, we need to consider the system's age, integrity, and amount of 22 charge it may have. If the system's operating condition is good, then let's proceed with recovering the R22. If the system is equipped with a thermal expansion valve, you will need to change the power head to one designed for R134A. If there is no removable power head, then replace the entire TXV. Though it isn't mandatory, this is an excellent opportunity to change the liquid line dryer. Next, we want to evacuate the system and bring it down to a 500 micron vacuum. This will ensure moisture and non-condensables have been removed. Allow the system to sit about three minutes at this vacuum level to check for leaks. If no loss of vacuum, then proceed. Charge the system with Summit Plus to about 90% of the amount of R22 that was removed. This will establish a good starting point. We'll need to adjust the superheat and subcooling into the prescribed range to optimize the system's performance. Any of these cool devices make it easy, but if you don't have one, you can still measure superheat and subcooling with these. Let's measure for superheat. In this example, we measured on the suction side a pressure of 46 PSIG and a temperature of 65 degrees Fahrenheit. To find our saturated refrigerant temperature in the pressure temperature chart, let's look up 46 pounds per square inch and we find that it correlates to 50 degrees. Subtract the 50 degrees from our measured 65 degrees and there is 15 degrees of superheat and this is in the range you want the superheat to be. In this example, the measured temperature of the line returning to the compressor, the suction side, was 65 degrees Fahrenheit. The measured pressure was 46 PSIG. In the PT chart, the saturated refrigerant pressure of 46 PSIG correlated to a temperature of 50 degrees. We subtracted the 50 degrees from the measured 65 degrees and that gave us 15 degrees of superheat, which is in our acceptable range. Let's measure for subcooling on the high pressure side on the line leaving the condenser. We find a pressure of 146 PSIG and a temperature of 125 degrees. Again referring to our PT chart, we find that that pressure correlates to a temperature of 115 degrees. We subtract the 115 degrees from our measured 125 degrees and that gives us 10 degrees of subcooling. In this example, we measured the temperature of the refrigerant line leaving the condenser on the high pressure side at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. The measured pressure was 146 PSIG. In the PT chart, the saturated refrigerant pressure of 146 PSIG correlated to a temperature of 115 degrees. We subtracted the 115 degrees from the measured 125 degrees and that gave us 10 degrees of subcooling. You may have to adjust by adding Summit Plus as needed to reach the desired superheat and subcooling measurements. By doing so, you will ensure the system has the correct amount of charge for optimal performance. Now that the system is running, record your new data. You'll note that the head pressure is a lot less than with R22. 
Also note that the compressor isn't working so hard, therefore the current draw should be less than with the R22 charge. Don't forget to fill out the service sticker and hear it behind the service panel where it can be easily found and read in the future. If you have the Summit Plus band, attach the band around the service port line for immediate recognition that the system has been charged with Summit Plus. One final word, never top off any R22 system with Summit Plus. And thank you for choosing Summit Plus.